Okay, let's, uh, not sure if this is on or helpful, either one. Ah, there we go. We okay with this, with the? Yeah, would you drop the graphic? I'm decidedly ready to go live. I <laughs> felt, <laughs> felt something less than that for weeks, and I, uh, welcome all, thank you. Uh, we're here to uh, cut a ribbon, to welcome uh, a new presence of businesses who have long been in Santa Cruz County and to appreciate what they've done here. Um, I want to say a couple of things by way of introduction. Barbara, uh, it's a decade or more, how long have you at least uh, been doing these uh, remote work sites? Uh, it, really a, a wonderful notion. When we started, we were talking about Richard Florida's book about the creative class and how there would be this emerging group of people who actually engaged in uh, essentially self-owned or self-operated businesses. And Barbara kind of took the leap off the bridge with a, with a couple of others to say, I believe that's true and it's going to work. And how many do you have now? Are you... Another one today. So, so seven, there we go. So uh, what's, what's remarkable about that is that uh, how many, how true that turned out to be. In, in the United States, 40% of the total workforce is what's called contingent labor. This is not my notion, this is the Bureau of Labor Statistics data. And a very significant part, part of that is part-time, regular part-time employees. But the bulk of that are people that have done just this kind of thing and said that we're going to be uh, self-employed, we're going to work on a contract basis, we're going to be uh, uh, our own entrepreneur inside of support systems, multiple support systems. So bravo and thank you. Which brings us to the delightful opportunity that community television brings to all of that. This is a time when video and the notion of creating uh, simple communications or sophisticated communications, uh, either of which serve a purpose, a cause, it becomes its own media that we have our own media outlets uh, universally from Facebook to web pages to a thousand other uh, sources that we get to use to share. And this becomes the opportunity for those small entrepreneurs to actually have their own market, a product that's unique, the ability to communicate their clients' interests in ways that simply didn't exist uh, a decade ago. So it's, it's a remarkable opportunity, the perfect synthesis uh, of these things, and, and a wonderful time. Uh, we thank you both, thank you both, and uh, have great expectations for the opportunity that's attached to this. Uh, let me introduce the mayor of Santa Cruz, who. Uh, is particularly uh, a, a colleague in doing these ribbon cuttings, Cynthia Matthews. And a happy colleague at that, having been on the chamber board at one time and being a great appreciator of Barbara and the work she's done in developing co-working spaces. I didn't realize you had so many. Congratulations. And also a big fan of community TV for years and years and years. And just a comments. Uh, we have in the city of Santa Cruz, and I'm going to speak with that hat on right now, over 500 business licenses issued in the city of Santa Cruz. And they're mostly small businesses. And this is one of the vehicles, the kind of co-working space that allows these businesses to thrive and grow. And they are definitely a, an incredible part of our economic being here in Santa Cruz and an important part of our future. So just appreciate your adding to the stock here. I know it'll be very successful. And for community TV, your organization has gone through so many changes, technological, governance, legislation, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know the, <laughs> the long story. But I want to really what community TV does, and again, I'm going to speak on the city hat, just only, uh, not the only thing you do, but especially appreciate the broadcasting of public meetings and um, just the Board of Supervisors, the various council meetings. 
that really helps people follow local government because it's hard, I think, for people to, um, you know, print media is uh, limited and um, social media, everyone's speaking to their own audience, but community TV, people can beam in on it, they can streamline it, and they can see for themselves. They can follow the discussion. And I can't tell you how many times I'm in a line in the grocery store, somewhere in the hardware store, and people come up to me and say, I watch you on TV all the time. It's real, no, really, it's a contribution to civic understanding. It's terrific. So, oh, and, and I've had many other interactions with community TV as associated with a nonprofit and so forth, but it's such a service, and I'm really delighted that the organization has been able to adapt with change. I know it hasn't been easy, but um, you play such an important part. So congratulations to both of you. So uh, let me introduce Barbara and let her say a few things about her enterprise and her l latest adventure. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill. I, I do want to mention that it is really an honor to be standing up here with first these two people who are two of the people I respect most in this county for their incredible creativity and thoughtfulness. So thank you very much. And then additionally, these two people right here, <laughs> Becca Reed and Keith Gudger, the executive director and the president of the board for CTV. These guys, well, Keith, a few years before, but these people came to us uh, about a year ago, maybe a bit more, a year and a half ago, and said, our funding's changing. What community TV needs to do is changing, and approached us to do this partnership. And what this partnership enabled, it, it, because what the satellite does is create these community workspaces that enables small entrepreneurs to work together, but we're very highly automated so that they can run very efficiently. And what this meant was that the CTV mission, which is to make you know, public access more available to more and more of our local community, that by using the, what we had created with the satellite, we were going to make that even more available to the public. And I thought that was a brilliant vision that they had. And I'm very, very honored to be part of that. And I want you all to know that every single person here and every single person out there is welcome to be, come here and be part of the satellite and the CTV mission here. Thank you. And I'll pass it. <laughs> Becca? Well, I, I'm going to pass this right off to our board chair, Keith Gudger, because he, he, he did a lot of the groundwork for years. He's been working toward this day, so I'm going to let him speak to that. Okay. Well, thank you, Becca. What I wanted to say is community television has gone through a lot of changes. We couldn't have gone through it and gotten to where we are today if it wasn't for our counterparts, our counterparts in the city and the county of Santa Cruz, the employees, the supervisors, the city council members, because they quickly came on board, got behind us, and let us go ahead with this fantastic idea we have. And it would never have happened if, if the employees and the electeds hadn't been willing to take a chance along with us. And so I really want to thank all those people and say, you know, like, like, like Barbara says, we're open, we, we've got everything set up and ready to go. Come on in and use our facilities. You're probably happy to know I'm the last person that will be speaking. Yeah. I can't, do you want me to? I'm thinking we probably, okay. go ahead and do it. Yeah, yeah, you can, and then I can. <laughs> Well, you, you want to step to the back and negotiate, and then we'll decide. <laughs> well, go ahead. Yeah. Well, see, so that was our cliffhanger in yeah. TV. You always have to have a cliffhanger. Sorry. And so, uh, what what I first would like to do is acknowledge Barbara for taking a heck of a leap with us. We approached her with this idea that had never been done, and we mixed a profit and a nonprofit, and we did. Uh, we don't know anything about co-working, but we thought it was a great idea, and so we wanted to find someone who was a, had a proven track record and. There's nobody more proven than Barbara and her husband, Ken. So we're so lucky to get with them. And, and I, as, uh, I'd like to echo 
what Keith said about the support that we've gotten from the city and the county is unbelievable. They've really, really stepped up and helped us quite a bit. But the, the unsung heroes here are the actual, the volunteers and members of CTV who actually did a ton of work. They packed up the whole old studio. They've held yard sales to, to, to deal with the old equipment. They put asset tags on hundreds of pieces of equipment and a lot of tables. You can imagine how many tables there are. And they put a number on every one. And they built a huge inventory to go into our fabulous software built by Barbara. So um, they've done a million thankless tasks. And um, so I would like to take this opportunity to thank them. And I have a list of them here because it's long. And I'm sure it'll get someone. So I'd like to, I'd like to um, thank uh, David Goldman, Brian Schumann, Bill Harmonic, Annie Newman, Karen Scott, Ken Nobler, Ron Powell, Annie Manor, Gail Williamson, Ken Rodkey, Amber Bruley, and um, those are our, our really diehard volunteers. And they are led and inspired by uh, Matilda and Keith. And uh, so I really, they, they really took, they took on so many tasks and really organized them well. And they got us in this building on time and without you guys. And, and wrangling all the volunteers, it would not have happened. So I just would like to thank all the volunteers. Okay, let's, uh, let's organize this. If you guys would like to be in the middle, Barbara, you should come over and uh, Duff will give you the scissors here. Keith, why don't you get in there too? Okay, everybody happy pictorially? Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. We're going to do on three if you count with me. One, two, three. Hey! Woo!